Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have 2x squared equal to 16 over x. And we are to solve this problem completely, meaning that we should get all the solutions. And by looking at this, we are going to have three solutions for this because it's going to be cubic. Let's go. The first step is to cross multiply because this could be over 1, 2, right? So we will have 2x, then x times x squared will give us the power of 3. Then this is equal to 16. Okay, so the next thing is bringing everything to the left so that I will have 2x to the power of 3 minus 16 to be equal to 0. And then by looking at this, you realize that 2 is a common factor. So I can divide this by 2, divide this by 2. And what you do on one side, you do on the other side, right? So that this will cancel that. Then we have x to the power of 3 minus 16 divided by 2 will give us 8. And then 0 divided by 0 is 0. And then from here, this is what I want us to do. Since we want to get the three solutions, we'll have x to the power of 3 minus here. Now we're going to have um, 2 to the power of 3. And this will be equal to 0. Okay, so from here, let's you know follow this standard. If you have a to the power of 3, minus b to the power of 3 okay provided they have the same power this will be equal to a minus b and then a squared plus a b plus b squared okay so we're going to follow this standard to deal with this in place of a and b i'll be writing x and 2 so I have x minus 2 in the first then in place of a I'm writing x so I have the x squared a b becomes 2 times x and that is 2x then plus b squared is now 2 squared close the bracket and this is equal to 0 and then if we continue then x minus 2 Okay, then we have x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. What I did is to, you know, simplify this. 2 squared is 2 times 2, and that is 4. Now, we can apply difference, um, how do you call it, zero product rule. You know, we have in two brackets here. So, if you have a bracket b like this, equal to zero so it is when you have a to be equal to zero that everything can be zero or you have b to be equal to zero that you will truly have zero because zero times b is zero and and then um a times zero will also be zero so we should equate either of them to be zero or equate both of them to get zero because zero times zero will still give us zero now let's go this means that x minus 2 is equal to zero or this quadratic expression here will be equal to zero so we have x squared plus 2x plus 4 equal to zero so from here now we have linear equation and then a quadratic equation from here, we'll have one solution, and from quadratic, we'll have two solutions. Let's deal with the linear equation. x minus 2 equals 0, meaning x is equal to 0 plus 2, and then our x is equal to 2. This is the first solution to the problem. Now, let's get the other two solutions from this x. But then, we can only use the formula method to solve this. 
okay now it is only the formula method that can be used to solve this okay because this will lead us to complex number or imaginary number now let's get the abc a is 1 the coefficient of x squared b is 2 the coefficient of x and c is 4 the constant and now what is the formula the formula is x equal to minus b positive or negative square root of b squared minus 4ac and the whole of this is over 2a now let's fix the abc now so our x will be minus b becomes minus 2 positive or negative here we have b squared which will now be 2 squared and it gives 4 minus 4 times 1 times c well, remember our c is 4 so it's going to be 4 times 1 times 4 and that will give us 16 so we have 16 over here and the whole of this is over 2 times 1 which is 2 now let's continue okay so from here x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 12 okay because 4 minus 16 is actually 12 and the whole of this is actually negative 12 and this will be over 2 now i want to bring out this negative from the square root so we have x to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 12 multiplied by square root of negative 1. This is because if you multiply this, you will still have square root of negative 12. The whole of this is over 2. Now let's continue. I want to show all the steps. If you're a beginner, please hold on and learn. So we have x to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus 4. 12 here is the same thing as 4 times 3, right? Then multiply by square root of negative 1. The whole of this is over 2. x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus. Square root of 4 is 2. Then multiply by root 3. Then square root of negative 1 is i. Mind you, this i is not under the square root sign. Okay, do not forget that. So this will be over 2. But then we can split this so that we'll have x to be equal to minus 2 over 2 plus or minus 2 root 3i over 2. Okay, so this is what it is. If you find the LCM, you will have this back. So that x will be equal to minus 2 over 2 is minus 1 plus or minus this will go there and we have square root of 3i and then from here we have a 2 in 1 solution x is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 3i or minus 1 minus square root of 3i okay so let's bring the three solutions together we have x1 x2 and then x3 we have x1 x2 x3 our x1 is 2 our x2 is from here which is minus 1 plus square root of 3i and our x3 is minus 1 minus square root of 3i so these are the three solutions to the problem but mind you only first solution is real the other one are uh, imaginary thank you for watching